LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers have been officially eliminated from postseason competition. LeBron James was quoted as basically, uh, you know, uh, tweeting or Instagram. I don't know what it was. But he basically made a promise to Laker Nation that, you know what, this will not continue. The trend will be broken. I'm paraphrasing because I don't have her directly in front of me. Doesn't matter. Here's the point that I wanted to make to LeBron James. I will come to his defense all day, every day, in terms of people really going at him excessively and unnecessarily, questioning his commitment to excellence, whether or not he wants to win, et cetera, et cetera. I think that's unfair to him. I think he deserves better than that. The way, the manner in which he takes care of himself, his body and the whole bit, um, the conditioning that he puts forth, the way that he performs on the field, on the court of play, um, he goes out there and competes every night. Give him credit where credit is due. Don't disrespect the three-time champion and a four-time league MVP, um, who, by the way, played all 82 games last year, who, by the way, should have been sitting down weeks ago and has been playing and showing up to entertain the fans at the Staples Center and beyond. Let's give credit where credit is due in that regard. Having said that, <clears throat> let me say this. LeBron James, you don't get to say the playoffs as if that's all we're talking about here. Let's understand that LeBron James has one mission in the eyes of Laker Nation. That's to deliver a chip. Elgin Baylor retired in 72. Longtime Laker. Failed to deliver a championship. Um, in 72, he had an opportunity to do so. Retired earlier on in that season. They ended up winning the championship, the lone championship in the career of Jerry West with the Los Angeles Lakers, if I remember correctly. Here's the deal. Outside of Elgin Baylor, every single marquee Los Angeles Laker dating back to the 50s, 48, 50s, has delivered a chip from George Mikan to Wilt Chamberlain to Jerry West to Irvin Magic Johnson to James Worthy to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to Sha Shaquille O'Neal to Kobe Bryant. Every single marquee individual who's ever worn the purple and gold has delivered the championship. LeBron James, you don't get to be absolved from that. We see you got your show to shop. We see you making movies. We see you got a new show, The Millionaire Challenge, whatever the hell that is, with Tim Tebow hosting it, about to come on a national airways. You get all that? Congratulations. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> I'm so touched. Laker Nation wants a championship. Ain't about making the playoffs. That's not the mandate that you came here for. They didn't come here for you to end the five-year drought of missing the playoffs. They would have been happy to make the playoffs this year. We understand it didn't happen because you got injured on Christmas Day and you were never the same since. We get all that. But understand, the chip is what it's all about. That is the mandate that LeBron James supposedly has arrived in Los Angeles to accomplish. Not just Hollywood uh, 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 to, to become a media mogul. And a Hollywood mogul. No, that's not what this is. It's about championships. It's what this is about. It's about championships. Let's be very, very clear. And let's understand that's what the mandate is. And that's incumbent upon LeBron James to highlight and verbalize that to Laker fans because right now they're a bit salty on him because they feel that his attention is a bit divided, fair or unfair. Now let me get to story number two. Jason Kidd, according to our very own Adrian Wojnarowski, NBA insider extraordinaire, will be strongly considered to be the next head coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. I am here to tell you that I have been told that it's not going to happen. Adrian Wojnarowski is the insider extraordinaire. It's rare in the day he's wrong about anything. And I'm not saying he's wrong now. I don't know. He's my buddy, my contemporary and, and colleague. I respect the hell out of him. And even if he is wrong, damn it, as much as he gets right, he's entitled. He has my profound respect. I'm just telling you that the Lakers made it a point to get word to me this morning, Jason Kidd is not an option. Brooklyn Nets, ultimately Milwaukee Bucks, they don't think he would be the right fit for them. They believe that Ty Lue 
warrants strong consideration. The former coach in Cleveland who took the Cavaliers to three consecutive championship series, who won a championship in Cleveland as the coach of the Cavaliers after being down 3-1, who repeatedly made adjustments from the regular season to the postseason, who once won like 22 playoff games straight, if I remember correctly. I don't know what the number was. Here's the deal. Ty Lue is proven. LeBron respects the hell out of him. Wouldn't mind him being the next coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. These are all true things. I'm going to tell you another name who should be on that list. It should be Mark Jackson. My colleague here at ESPN and ABC who calls games most of the time with Mike Breen and or Jeff Van Gundy. Um, Mark Jackson has been screwed over. Joe Lacob, Peter Gruber, and those boys, they made the right decision clearly and decided to move on from him because they've went to four straight NBA finals and they've won three championships. There is no arguing the impeccable resume of Steve Kerr. There's just no arguing it. He's that great. He's proven to be that great of a coach, and he deserves our respect and our deference, or reverence, rather. But that doesn't mean that Mark Jackson doesn't warrant capturing one of the other 29 jobs in the National Basketball Association. 